Welcome my friends to Plumbing with Tim. Today I want to share with you five very useful plumbing tricks that everyone should know and you'll thank me. Let's get right to it. Trick number one, you have a water emergency and you have to turn your meter off. You come down here with your water meter key and you try to get this valve to turn but because it hasn't been exercised it's stuck. What do I do now? Take your water meter wrench as I have here. Get yourself a couple pieces of pipe generally at least an inch and a half on diameter and slide them over your handles like so. Look at that. I got twice the power. Chances are now when I go to turn that I got the leverage to get that sucker to turn off. Just like that. Do you have a spigot on the outside of your house? And every time that you turn the handle on to turn the water on, water comes pouring out of that handle. Try this. Get an open end wrench. And right here is what's called the packing nut. Take and nice and easy, give that a little twist to tighten it up. Chances are really good it's going to stop that leaky handle. Are you noticing that your dishes aren't getting as clean as what you like to in your dishwasher? You seem to pull them out and they just don't seem to clean all the way? Try this. Start by loading up your dishwasher the way you generally would. Getting your dishes all set in there. Go ahead and close the door. Then come on over here to where the kitchen faucet is. Turn the hot water on and let it run until this water gets hot. Since you know that's a desired hot temperature, cut that off and come back over and start your dishwasher up. What this does is it ensures that that water going into your dishwasher is hot right now, which is one of the cleaning agents that results in you having better performance in that dishwasher because the water supply to the dishwasher comes from the same hot source as your kitchen faucet, generally speaking. Let's say that you have a bathroom in the house and you seem to be having mildew uh, and mold, especially perhaps around the toilet bowl or inside of the shower and other spots. Here's something to try. You can go to a local Walmart or any distributor and pick up what's known as damp rig. Yes, damp rig. This is a substance that comes in a little canister with some pellets and it's made out of calcium chloride. What that does is it draws the humidity and the moisture out of the bathroom to a certain relative humidity which is usually 60%. This allows that mildew and mold to not set up on your porcelain fixtures and you'll be happy. Are you one of the millions of homeowners out there that go to turn a little valve off behind your toilet underneath your sink such as this and when you do so the sucker starts leaking or it won't shut off all the way. Here's a way to take care of it without calling a plumber. Take and go down and cut the water off to your home. Get yourself a little bucket and a towel and put it underneath the valve that you're going to be working on. Now that you know the water is all drained down and everything, get yourself a couple wrenches. Apply one at the bottom. And let's put one right here where this handle is. Like this. See? I'm going to take and unscrew that handle all the way off. That's the problem. The valve is usually not the problem. Now we can take another angle stop, if this is the only one you have around, even though it's a different color, and we can replace it with this handle assembly. I'll show you how. Most of the time, these are going to be interchangeable, unless there's a different thread pattern. Now I can screw this part, just like this, into our old valve. Reverse how you put it together and make sure you tighten this up really good. Like that. Okay, so they're a different color. But you know what? I didn't have to mess with the valve. I just replaced the handle assembly with the washer inside. So there you guys go. Five more tips and tricks that I hope you found useful today. Uh, listen, there are a number of things that you can do around your home in the leisure of your own time. I'm not here to take business away from the plumbing industry. God knows we're busy as it is. But these are a couple few tips that I'd like to share with you that may end up saving you the cost of a service call. If you enjoyed this video and found any use out of it, give me a thumbs up, comment, share with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe down below. Till next time, this has been Plumbing with Tim. 
keep plumbing.